Hey Lion King fans, hey Disney fans, Artisan Dragon here with another Lion King collection video. Gosh, you know, I, I've i lost track of how many I've done already. I just have a lot of stuff and I'm just trying to document everything on video pretty much. And uh, not just for me, but to show people what is available on this planet if you enjoy the original Lion King and you know want to relive the old days so here is the original VHS from 1995 I believe still <clears throat> still in pretty decent shape um, it's a little little warpy little cracks here and there but uh, this still plays. I actually still have a VHS player to play this on, so if I want to watch it the old school way, I can still do that. Um, so I'm glad I still have this one. I used to have a VHS of Lion King 2 as well, but uh, I think I gave that one to a friend. Alright, here is a stack of Lion King DVDs that I have accumulated over the years. Uh, this one is the very first special edition two disc and here's the kind of there's a date kind of on there. 2003. This was a 2003 DVD release. Um, I think we bought this one, Mom bought me this one through a Disney store um, deal, but I think this particular special edition was available in all stores, but the one I got came with like some lithographs and stuff, which I'll show those in another video. But um, yeah, this, I really wanted this, and it's the first time I got to see... Um, the, the original, originally cut scene, uh, Morning Report, they actually fully animated it and added it into the movie. And this DVD gives you the option to watch it with that scene added or um, the classic original theatrical version. So, yeah, this, this was a pretty cool, pretty cool release, I have to say. Um, gotta hand it to Disney for putting this one out back in 2003. Like I said, I, was, I really wanted to get it. There's a booklet that has, like, DVD information inside. And here's two discs. This one has Rafiki on it. And this one has, looks like Mufasa and Sarabi silhouettes. So that one's probably uh, anyway. That one's probably the best DVD to have. All right, and this one I bought recently, this past year at Target, is the 4K Blu-ray Ultra HD. Also has a digital copy. Which I redeemed already. So I have it on my... Uh, I have it to watch digitally anywhere I want. Which is nice. Because uh, I can't get enough of this movie. Just <laughs> if you couldn't tell already. Um, I just have a very significant love for The Lion King. And, you know, when you love something so much. Especially certain movies... Owning multiple copies of them is, you know, it's kind of kind of a thing that I know a lot of us do when we really like something. I mean, I have multiple copies of the original Star Wars trilogy as well. Um, yeah, that's another collection altogether. Won't discuss that right now. Anyways, um, all right, let's move on to this one, Lion King Two. 
special edition. This is the original. Um, let's see. It's not the original, original DVD release. I think this is the second DVD release of, um, yeah, let's see. I think this one came out 2003, 2004-ish, around the same time of, um, the original Lion King special edition to kind of go with it, um, yeah, this one also has a really cool little thing that opens up on the cardboard sleeve, which I think kind of adds to the collectability of the DVD itself. Um, let me see if I can pull it out here. There's the cover. And I put some... Yeah, there's a DVD guide in there. I put some stickers in here because <laughs> I, I had gotten. Um, I was I was still in high school when this came out, so um, I had some stickers, sticker sheets. So I just kind of plugged them in the DVD case when I got the DVD. And like I say, I used to have a VHS of this one, but. Um, I think I gave that one to the same friend I gave, I gave to, um, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, here's Kovu. Sorry, it's upside down. Kind of doing this one-handed here. Anyways. So there's that one. Sorry, I didn't show the inside of the 4K Blu-ray, but that one's kind of self-explanatory doesn't really have a booklet or anything. Alright. Here is one of the most hilarious animated movies ever made. I'm not exaggerating when I say that either. Um, it's basically a retelling of The Lion King, the original story, through the eyes of Timon and Pumbaa. Now, if you have not seen this one, you need to see it. Trust me you will not regret it. Um, it is simply, yeah, you don't know the half of it. Yeah, no kidding. Um, it's really cute. It features Timon's mom. There she is there. And Timon's uncle, if I remember correctly, Uncle Max. And uh, Rafiki's in it as well. And of course Simba's in it, and that's that's some really cute scenes. Um, makes it really enjoyable. The joyful banter with Simba when he's growing up. It's actually quite fun to watch. Um, some of the funniest scenes ever. So, yeah, I recommend this one. If Whether you're a Lion King fan or not, I mean, it's... It's a good one. <laughs> Trust me. Alright. On to... This is the last... Let's see. Besides the 4K Blu-ray, this was the last uh, DVD that I bought that was Lion King related. Um, the Lion Guard Return of the Roar. Now, when I heard this series was airing on Disney Junior, um, I was stoked that they finally... Um, featured Simba having a son because at the end of the original movie it always kind of bothered me that the cub was well I think quite clearly they meant the cub to be a boy but they changed it to a girl for the sequel and you know did the the whole Simba having a daughter thing which is fine I mean Kiara is in this series um I think this features this, first, this features at least two episodes on it, if I remember correctly. It's the f the first two episodes of the show. So um, I wish they would just release the seasons on DVD. I'd be glad to get those instead of these, you know, money grubbing. Uh, 
individual episode releases, which I really wish companies would stop doing that, especially Disney. It's like, come on, you're making enough money off of people, guys. Enough, you know. I just bought this one because it was the first Lion Guard DVD to be released, so there is another one, but it's basically the same. It's just like two or three episodes or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had to get this because, hey, it's Kion. And I, I do love Kion. He's actually very cute. Okay, let's move on to the CDs. The music of The Lion King. Now, this is my original CD. I got this back in the late 90s when I had my CD player and I was going to high school with my CD player in my pocket, walking to school, you know, I just remember listening to this like non-stop practically in between the, um, you know, whatever other music I was listening to back then, probably in sync or Marilyn Manson or Michael Jackson, whatever. I went through phases. Anyway, haven't we all? Yeah, this is my original CD. I have, I still have some cassette tapes too. Um, which I, I still have a Walkman I can play those on, but I don't really have a stereo to play them on, so they're pretty much still in storage right now. Alright, here is the Lion King Special Edition soundtrack. It's basically the same, except it has um, a remix of Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And, let's see... And the Morning Report song is on here from the uh, special edition. So that's pretty much the only differences between these two is the couple of extra tracks. Okay, this one is so epic. I For the longest time, um, I just had a tape of this sound, of this, uh, well, it is kind of a soundtrack, I guess. Um, Music inspired by the Lion King. Rhythm of the Pride Lands. Now, if you've not heard this, I actually found some YouTube videos of the music. So, you should check this out. Honestly. I don't know why I'm so drawn to African music and whatnot. Because this is pretty much what it is. It's basically just African music. With, you know, Lion King a little bit of Lion King thrown in there. And there's a really funny Timon and Pumbaa song called Warthog Rhapsody on this that's... Oh my gosh. I wish they'd have made a music video to it because it's so hilarious sounding. You want to have visuals, you know? <laughs> you kind of visualize it in your head. And I actually bought this CD about... Oh gosh. Probably about... 15 years ago, I think. I actually found this on Amazon. It was either Amazon or eBay. Um, I bought it for, I don't know, I think I bought it, paid like eight bucks for it, and it was like used, but like new condition. So, yeah, I, I love having that rather than the tape. All right. I also have a cassette of this. Pretty much. All of these are upgrades from cassettes, except the special edition one. Um, yeah, Return to Pride Rock, songs inspired by Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. This is basically the soundtrack to Lion King 2. And, um, and the music is, for me anyway, is just as enjoyable as the original movie. And there's a couple of songs from uh, Rhythm of the Pride Lands on here as well. Some repeats. But there's some different music on here too from Lion King 2. So yeah, that's a good one to have. Alright, of course I have this one, right? Lion King 1 and a half Songs from Timon and Pumbaa's Hilarious Adventure. Yes, I have this. 
because I love Timon and Pumbaa. And the music in the movie was actually pretty good, I have to admit. Um, yeah, there's a Hakuna Matata, there's, you know, a few different ones. Um, yeah, Raven performs a song on this one. Raven Simone. Grazing in the Grass. It's a good one. It's actually a pretty chill song. And, uh, Jungle Boogie. <laughs> That's a funny one. Funny part of the movie. Anyway. Good, Bad, and the Ugly. There's a reason that song is on here. That's another part of the movie that you'd have to see to understand. <laughs> Alright, here we are with The Lion King on Broadway Musical soundtrack. I have seen it. I saw it in San Francisco, actually. Um... I bought this CD on Amazon a couple of years ago from, I bought it used from a seller, uh, just to, you know, kind of complete my Lion King collection, and I do have a, a love for musicals in general, stage theater, um, so, yeah, it was a very good production, I have to say, it was one of the best stage shows I've ever seen. Okay, here we are with the Lion Guard, Return of the Roar soundtrack. This has some music from the show. Um, let's see, I don't know for sure. I think it has, has the theme song, of course. Um, I don't know how many of these songs are actually on the DVD version, but doesn't really matter. I think it's most of the major songs from the first few episodes, I think. It's got a lot of a lot of good music there. And like I say, for for a kids show or preschool show meant for younger children, I enjoy watching it. Maybe I'm just silly. Anyways, all right, here it is. The new Lion King 2019. I don't like to call it a remake, really. It's more of a reimagining of The Lion King in kind of more of a realistic way. Um, I got the soundtrack because, hey, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give me some props here. All right, this has a booklet and a couple of you can see inside there. I think um, little artwork. This was like a special uh, Target exclusive edition of the soundtrack. So, um, let's see if I can pull that out there. Yeah, there's the booklet. And open it up. There's some really nice movie photos. And here's the special Target edition. Now, they're like photos on, you know, really nice paper, um, movie photos. So those are frameable. If I ever decide to frame them, I might. I don't know yet. But, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Got some movie, movie photos, lyrics really nice. I, I'm glad I got it because I did enjoy the movie despite popular belief from other people and other feedback. I went and saw it for myself and I actually enjoyed it. You know, if you don't compare it too much to the original, it's enjoyable. <laughs> All right. Now I had, <laughs> I used to have the Lion King video game on Sega Genesis. And I had this around the same time back in the day. And uh, I didn't have a Game Boy, but I wanted to play Lion King on the go. So my mom found me this. Um, I think she got it on sale at like a, the Walgreens store down the street from where we lived, I think. But uh, it, this still works. I put some batteries in it and I tested it. And despite 
not having the original battery cover, this thing still works. Like, it's diehard. I've had this in storage for so long. So, um, still has the sound and everything. It's great. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty collectible, I think. Okay. So, here is actually something that, um, really either needs to get remade or something if they're really into remaking video games or anything lately this one really deserves a rehashing uh, this one and the original that i had for sega genesis they they could totally do a better job but this one actually it's enjoyable for what it is it's just the gameplay itself is very stiff, I have to say. Um, so, I if you're a diehard Lion King fan like me, you enjoy this game for what it is. But just be warned that it might be frustrating and a little bit annoying to play. And it's an original PlayStation game, so, you know, if I collect pretty much most major PlayStation games that I can get my hands on. Alright, that'll do it for this video. And I will be continuing my Lion King collection videos as well as doing other collection videos. So um, go ahead and like and subscribe. You know, click on the notification bell if you want to know what I post next. It could be anything. I could, you know switch to something else like Star Wars or something you never know so um yeah give me some feedback let me know what you still have what you would like to have um and uh yeah any of this stuff um you know if you've found any particular interest in any of the stuff I've shown um check out ebay or amazon.com um you might find some great deals Alright, well, that'll do it for this video. I think I've said enough about this collection. So, I will check you guys later. Thanks for watching.